Look at this studio, filled with glamorous prizes, fabulous and exciting merchandise, including you can enjoy skiing or cruising in this racy $12,000 speedboat. Something for your man, a $2,600 sapphire and gold ring and experience top performance in this $12,000 American sports car. Over $81,000 just waiting to be won on Wheel of Fortune. And now, here's your host, Pat Sajak. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jack. Thank you all, and welcome to Wheel of Fortune. Glad you could be with us again. And now, please help me welcome our hostess. Here comes the lovely Vanna White. Vanna! Oh, I'm right. A fine turner, if ever there were one. And now it is time to meet uh, three fine players, I'm sure. Debbie Brandt is yes. with us from Phoenix, Arizona. Right. A typesetter back there. I have hey? my own typesetting business. Yeah, and mm -hmm. business is good in the typesetting very good. Business is good. Uh, says you enjoy sports, skiing, softball, and uh, do some gambling. That's right. You go to Las Love Vegas, to gamble. he asked. And the dog track. Yeah. And, oh, they have dog a, races. In Phoenix, they have dog mm -hmm. races. Aha. Uh -huh. And you do well at that, huh? Yeah. Well, we'll see if you do some gambling here on our show. Uh, good Thank luck you. to you. Uh, Suzanne, I'm going to try your last name, and then you can just go ahead and correct me. How about, how about you telling me what how it is? How about Nice Ted? <laughs> nice Ted? Yes. Okay, that was easy enough, but I have a problem sometimes. From, you're from Warrenville, Illinois. Yes. That is near Chicago. Correct. correct? WLS back there. Uh, what do you do back in Warrenville, Suzanne? I'm a banker, and I'm the mother of two. I collect pigs, and I teach baton twirling. That pretty well sums it <laughs> up. You collect? Not real pigs. You know, okay. I've got about 450 of the other kind. I got gotcha. you. That has become a popular hobby. I know yeah, several yeah. people with that. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thank you. And uh, Dan Costa is with yes. us. Uh, Dan from uh, the Boston area. Right, Summer Somerville, Mass. Gotcha. And what do you do back in uh, Somerville? I'm a chemistry major at the University of Massachusetts at Boston. Mm -hmm. And I collect baseball cards and old records as hobbies. Okay. Have you ever collected pigs? No, no would pigs. You, would you consider exchanging a baseball card for it? Oh, no, no, no. I try, to, I try to bring our players closer <laughs> together and look for things, I guess. Nice All right. Here we go. $1,000, top dollar value for this round. Uh, try not to get bankrupt. If you do, you lose your cash, but not your merchandise, because once you buy a prize, it's yours to keep. Here's our first puzzle. It is phrase. And uh, just before the show, we drew numbers to see what start the game. And Debbie, it's going to be you. Good luck to everybody. Let's go. Especially the beginning, not the worst time for that to happen. Right. Right, Suzanne. Come on, 1,000, 1,000. You made it. All right. I didn't think you were going to get there. A T, please. Uh, yes, there are three of them. Good start to you. Is there an N? There is. And you have some money now. $350. I'll spend. How about it? Let's get a good one. Yeah, it's going to be 500 Is there a G? He'd like a G. Would you like two of them? Well, you have uh, 1350 as well. I think I'm going to buy a vowel. All right. An E? There are two E's. I'll buy another vowel, an I. There are two I's. They're coming up now. Dan, you're down to $850, but it's still your turn. I'm going to spend. $450. Is there an R? A couple of R's. And you have another $900 uh, for your total. I'll spend, okay? I'll spend a good one. With the six? No, I thought we might. 250. Is there a C? Oh, no matter, no C. Sorry, Debbie. Two W's, three hundred dollars. 
like to spin? Okay. I think you have a free spin coming up here. Hang on to that. Oh, Let fantastic. Us know you Thank it. you. Meantime, it's your turn still. Okay, you can uh, spin it again if you'd like. Okay, I'll take a Y, please. You sure will, and you're up to eight hundred dollars. I had a hunch you were going to. Come on, take money, take money. Three hundred. It's like an M, please. Mm-hmm. One M. Now we have eleven hundred dollars. Let's see what kind of a gambler we have here. Up then. We do. $350. Like a D, please? Uh-huh. You have a D. Now, after a close call, what will you do? I think I'm going to solve the puzzle. $1,450. What's this phrase? Getting away with murder. Yes, that's good. <laughs> there you go. That'll you down a little bit. Yeah, I don't blame you. Get away with murder, but you have now it's the fun party. Just spend that money. $1,450 in the lover's retreat. What would you like to go for? Okay, for... $600, I'll take the rocker recliner. Okay, now you have $850 left. $539, the Queen Anne chest. Okay, and now you have $311. Three eleven. Your choice, hmm. a For $299, the ceramic leopard. Okay, now $12. Gift certificate, that will be please. an American Express uh, gift certificate. And uh, here, here's Jack, and it is a ceramic leopard. Very nice. <laughs> It certainly is, Pat. Well, Debbie, you've chosen it. This magnificent Italian ceramic leopard is very popular with decorators who wish to add a touch of exotica to their decor. The leopard is $299. And then this small brass chest on feet is a copy of an old English Queen Anne chest, beautifully detailed with fleur-de-lis applique. It's marvelous anywhere, $539. And finally, one of the most comfortable seats in the house, the spoiler recliner with loose three-tiered back plush padded arms and deep seat cushion from Action Industries Incorporated. Six hundred dollars. All right. Good start for you. We'll be back with our second round. There is there's something on our wheel, Jack, that says vase. What does it mean? Vase, I think that. Well, from China, this spectacular decorative accessory, it's a large gold-filled cloisonne-covered vase. It's breathtakingly beautiful, displaying magnificently on a brass base. Its retail value, $1,500. Huh? Okay. I think that's brass bars, actually. But anyway, if a player lands on that prize, it'll go into that player's bank, of course, and if they solve the puzzle, it will become theirs. That's what all that was about. Now, our next puzzle is... A person, round two, player two. Suzanne, go ahead. Okay. Five fifty. I'd like a T, please. Can't do it. No T. Dan. Two hundred. Is there an S? One S for you. I'll spend. Come on, let's get a good one. Mm, 400. Is there an R as in Robert? There is an R, and you have $600 now. Okay. I'll spend. Sure. Come on, let's get a big one. Come on, 700. 700. Huh. Okay. Is there an N? There is one N, and you're up to $1,300. Right? Okay. I'll buy a bottle. Okay. An O? That's goodbye. There are four O's. Okay. Remember, bottles are $250, no matter how many there are, so that is goodbye. Okay, what do you want to do? Okay. I'll buy another bottle. Okay. An A? No. That's mm. not a goodbye. No A. Still costs you the 250 yeah. Debbie. <laughs> Do it. Oh. Oh. It's not a total disaster if you do it for your friends. Save and okay, Suzanne. Okay. Oh, 
the other. Oh, boy. Well, I guess it's up to you, Dan. All right, I'm going to try another vowel. Why not? Is there an I? Uh, there happens to be one I, yes. Down to $550. I'll spend the case. Come on, let's take a big one. Come on, 1000 Look at this. Come on, 1000 $1,000. What letter would you like, Dan? Is there a B? Say that again. A B. No, there's no B. I'm mm. sorry. Debbie. Dan. Five hundred. Is there a Y? Oh, there's no Y either. Suzanne. Hey! Interesting. This time, I think you've got some money coming to you. Two fifty. An L, please? There's one L, $250. You spinning again here, Suzanne? Yes, I am. All right. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. that's five fifty. Can you hold it? Yep. I'd like a W, please. There you go. Three Ws. Now. One thousand nine hundred and uh, one thousand nine hundred dollars. I'd like to solve the puzzle, okay, please. Who's this person? Woodrow Wilson. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Good timing for that five fifty. Woodrow Wilson, three W. Very helpful. Nineteen hundred dollars in the dining room. What do you have your eye on? For sixteen thirty-seven, I'd like the dining room furniture, please. Uh -huh. We need it. Gorgeous, you got it. And you still have two hundred and sixty-three dollars left. Oh, for two thirty-six, I'd love those desserts, even though I don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> we all need desserts, yeah. Suzanne. Twenty-seven dollars left. Gift certificate, all right? And a gift certificate, please. Okay, Jack, don't eat them. Just tell us about them. <laughs> oh darn it. Well, Suzanne, every month a scrumptiously different dessert will arrive at your home, and each dessert will be delivered in a reusable designer tin from the Dessert of the Month Club, retail value $236. And then Broyhill's Le Chateau, a seven-piece French dining room, features a rich finish with cane-backed chairs for years of elegant dining by Broyhill, retail value $1,637. All right. Still anybody's game. 1450 here, 1900 here. Dan, you're going to start a third round with lots of money on the wheel. Come back and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. All right, third round is always exciting because we have a lot of money on the wheel, especially that nice $5,000. That looks good. Hope someone can land on it. We're looking for a things. Things is the category. A things. Yes, Dan, it's your turn. Thank you. Is there an S? Well, you would think so, but there isn't. Sorry, oh, Debbie. Two fifty. Is there an N? There are some Ns. Two of them. Five hundred dollars. Do you get? Two fifty again. Is there a D? There are two Ds. You've doubled your money. One thousand dollars. I'll spin. This could be a very nice one here. Fifteen hundred dollars. Is there an R? There is an R. Yes. Look, for twenty-five hundred. I'd like to buy a vowel. Okay. I'd buy an E. Mm-hmm. There are some E's. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four E's. Good work. What now? I'll spin. We need a little oomph here. There you go. 700. Oh. Is there a T, please? No, there's no T. And hang on, Suzanne. I think uh, Debbie's uh, yes. handing me the free spin, Thanks. and she's taking it now. Four hundred. Is there an M? I'm sorry, there's no M. Suzanne. Okay. Come on, five thousand. Come on, five thousand. Two hundred. A C, please. Yes, a couple of C's, $400 for you. Okay, I'm going to spin. Okay, uh, 
uh, $200, give us a letter. I'd like a B, please. Are uh, there some Bs up there? There are three of them. Yeah. Now, Suzanne, you have $1,000. Are you going to give it another spin? No, I'd like to solve All the right, puzzle. Or that grand, or what are these things? Corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, that's it. $1,000 to the playroom we go. What would you like from there? For $7.98, I'd like the family reference library. Okay, and we'll put the rest on a gift certificate for you. Yes, that would be $202. You. And uh, Jack Clark will tell you about that uh, library now. I sure will, Pat. Suzanne, it's World Book's 22-volume encyclopedia, including research guide and index volume. Easy to use, easy to read, plus Childcraft, the 15-volume How and Why library. It's $798. Not over till it's over, and it's not over. We're playing the fourth round. All right, fourth round, but not a lot of time, so I'll give the wheel a final spin, then I'll ask you to give me a letter from the puzzle. You'll have five seconds to solve it. Vowels worth nothing. Confidence are going to be worth $300 a piece, and that's for every letter we find. Phrase is what we're looking for, and Debbie, you'll give us a letter. Is there an R? One R. After you see it, and then it backs up. You'll have five seconds. Suzanne. An N, please. No, Dan. A Y. Yes, there is a Y. Debbie. Is there a T? Nope, Suzanne. An S. Nope, Dan. An L? Nope. Debbie? Is there an M? Yes. Praise. Suzanne? A D? No, Dan. A C? Nope. Debbie? Is there a P? There's one P. Jump for joy. You should, yes. $900. There you go. That's the puzzle problem. Jump to Joy, $900. Back to the playroom we go. Here's life. For $3.99, I'd like the color TV. Okay, 501 left. Hmm, let's <laughs> see. For $350, the horse lamp. All right, and now you have $151. That will go on a gift certificate for you, and Jack Clark will inform you now of the details concerning those prizes. How is that for a good sentence, Jack? Well, that was neat, Pat. Well, Debbie, let's take a look. First, enjoy the whimsical fantasy of a carousel horse. It's beautifully adapted into an interesting and mood-setting table lamp at $350. And then, enjoy watching all your favorite programs on Sharp's 13-inch diagonal portable color TV. 100% solid state with wireless remote control and automatic fine-tuning. Retail value, $399. Okay. Did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time. I'm glad. You have some nice prizes, $2,350 worth. Congratulations. Very happy. Uh, I'm skipping over you for a reason, <laughs> okay. Suzanne. I'll be right back to take care of that in a moment. Dan, uh, we have some nice party gifts for you. I enjoyed it. I'm glad you did. Thank Good you. luck in your studies, and uh, see you around. Okay? Now, Suzanne, $2,900. That means you're a big winner. She's going to play our bonus round. Just a wonder what she's going to play for. I don't know. Nice haul so far, nearly $3,000 in prizes, and a chance to really add to that total in the bonus round. What are you playing for? I'm playing for the camper. Ah, it's a beauty, and Jack will tell you all about it now. It sure is, Suzanne. I hope you win it. It's the Jayco Fold-Down Camping Trailer with an ample living area for comfort and convenience with wardrobe, cabinet, dining room table, refrigerator range, and can sleep six by Jayco. Retail value, $6,065. Good luck. Our category is phrase. That's what we're looking for this time. First thing we'll tell you is there is a hyphen in the phrase. We'll start. You like the hyphen, huh? All right. See how helpful that is to you. Now, you go to work. Give us five consonants and one vowel. I'd like an S. That's one. T. Two. R. Three. N. Four. L. And a vowel. E. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Vanna will show you the letters you did manage to find. We ask our audience, as always, to be very quiet as we play for the trailer and nearly nine thousand dollars in prizes that's what you have to work with it's a phrase talk it out you have 15 seconds good luck narrow-minded you need any more time than that <laughs> 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 
You did that so cool, calmly, and collectively. And I want to keep talking it out. That's yeah. what I need to. You don't need to. What am I going to do with your, your remaining 13 seconds? We have no idea. $8,965. Can we take a walk over to the camper? Is that doable? Would you like to have a look at your camper? We're going to do that. It is a beauty. Take a look. Banners will meet you at the camper. We love giving away prizes. Here we go. $8,965. Climb right in. <laughs> Just whip up something. We're going to do more of the same next time on Wheel of Fortune. Bye-bye. Okay. Some contestants receive Glade Smoke Away, a tough Glade specially formulated to eliminate smoke odors, instantly make your home fresher. And Presto's new stainless steel coffee maker brews four to 12 cups of rich flavor for coffee fast and keeps piping hot automatically from Presto. And for worry-free steam cleaning, get Rinse and Back 5, the multi-purpose cleaner with soil retardant that works in hot or cold water. Bronson Clean All, the all-new two-step spot removal system that takes out stains from fabrics like professional dry cleaners do. Clean All by Ronson. And today's active woman chooses today's girl pantyhose for sheer misfit and sensational new colors. Today's girl pantyhose at your favorite department store. Everybody loves Tootsie Rolls. On the average, these Tootsie Rolls cost 28% less per pound than other leading snack size chocolatey candy. The prices of the prizes were furnished to the contestants prior to the show and have been rounded off to the nearest dollar. Gift certificates do not include sales tax.